got this time? She's, whoever it is has found another light. If that's Lizzie, she's found another light for us. They're both running off. Wait! Come back! I can't run and you're too fast! Shiloh, you big suki. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, we got Steven now. <laughs> Now we get to understand. Where did he go? There's data coming. There's data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost the processors. They can't find it. Please, I love you. You need to get out of that. It's not safe. I need you, Steven. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening. No, here. you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. It's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. So she kind of became obsessed with it. Kind of like the scientists in uh, Stranger Things. It's completely dead, it won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't want to either, Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on. I think we talk properly. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful, that's all. Charlie and Meg. Okay. We'll keep going this way. Can we keep going this way? Yeah. This way, Stephen. More dead birds. Look, the time of day has finished, changed as well. It seems to be getting darker and darker. I'm not liking that at all. But I'm guessing we're coming close to the end of the story. All right, let's have a look in here. Let's go in here first. Oh good, you want us to go in here? That's good, Stephen. That's where I wanted to go. I hear a phone ringing. Every time you go inside a building, it kind of goes, let's creep as slowly as we can. Hello? But why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify. Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... 
I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark, do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Well, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain. Time's up. Lizzie, listen. Be ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. Wait, so Lizzie was here? Or Stephen was here? La 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 I'm gonna go across the road to the house. But we're playing everybody's going to the rapture at the moment. Um because well she here used her points to uh, redeem a cheeky eight hour stream um she is well she also gets to pick the game that we're playing and she's chosen welcome to the rapture do i go inside here all right okay at the moment we're firing this this is steven we've had like about four other people that we've had to follow as we've learnt the stories of what happened basically the way the story goes is everybody's disappeared and we're kind of learning some of the characters' main mo last moments, so. Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state, Stephen. I don't It'll think It'll be an so. adventure. It'll mean putting down roots. <gasps> this is what you're talking about, will she? she? Wants children. What, to stay here? It's not our place, you know. Don't start that again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's so older. She's not going to want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language. Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Kate is the most brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's, she's like no one else. The way she looks at things. It's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Mm. It's a nice house, I think. It's a cute and cozy little kitchen. Don't know what happened here to the door, but you know. Let's have a look upstairs. Oh, I can open this door too. <gasps> Ooh, a nice little what? Oh, that's a tiny room. That is a tiny room. That could be a bedroom for the baby, maybe. This door's off his hinges. This one is also a tiny room. Oh, the room isn't that small. No, no, not really, is it, kitten? The bathroom needs a little bit of work. Is this really how small rooms are in England? Jesus, you poor fa- Oh, brother, uh, needs another paint. That's obviously the master bedroom. That's the biggest one of the lot, but geez. Really? How do you fit a bed in them? Don't know what it is, but it's super soothing. What is? The music? It is really soothing, isn't it? A kitten was saying he was looking at the different, uh, um, see if the soundtrack was really nice. I'm going to check out up here first and I'll be right back, Stephen, I promise. Oh, I can't get in there. Bet you there's nothing in there anyway. No, nothing in there. All right, let's go back out to Stephen. Welcome to the stream, Beska. Beska not. 
No, I'm just gonna call you Beska because it's easier. Stephen, where'd you go? So the aim is to follow the little light, and that will tell you the story of them, their last minutes. Oh look, and, and and we're going around and collecting because of the music. The music is amazing. Thank you for the follow, Bexa. Welcome to the Midnight Howlers. Oh. I can only deal with the evidence I have, and this points in one simple direction. It's not in the observatory. It's in me. <gasps> no, Kate. Me. Whoops. Music is wonderful. Soothing. I already mentioned about art style, hey. Art style is amazing too. It's so pretty, it's like you have a walking simulator which you don't have to do. You don't pick up anything, you don't do anything. It literally is just a walking simulator. But it's so beautiful that you're like, I hear a phone ringing. I'm checking it out, I'm checking it out. Okay. Listen, I'm trying to make things right. I've isolated myself. I'm in the old bunker at the substation. Just keep. Ooh. Oh, I want to go in that house. Hang on, hang on. Wait, I must explore. The exploration of it is is is. Ah, oh, let me in. Let me in. It's a pretty house. I wanted to check it out. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up there? Do we get to go up this way? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Stephen. What's up here? Mm, another phone ringing. Hello? Another teeny tiny room. Oh, look. Oh my goodness me. How do you guys live in such teeny tiny places? Oh my lord. If you guys saw my uh, house, you'd be like, what the fuck? No wonder people. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Who's Clyde? Did he write down Clyde? The quarantine is not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off his energy source. It's food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water an ass. Is Clive like the mayor? It's going to keep on spreading as fast as it can. The quarantine and blackout will hold it in check. They've cut all of the phones out of the valley, so it's only you communicating out there. listening. It's figured out ways around it. They built something. The UK the doesn't have as much space as we do. Yeah, I know. You've done all they do, things. they do. A lot of these houses have been double story. But I couldn't imagine having a table and chairs and having to like squeeze. I mean, I suppose it's completely like the environment that you've grown, grown up in, you know? I've lived in Australia my whole life. I don't know any different. People who live in England have lived in England their whole life. Well, not everyone that lives in England has lived in England their whole life, but you know what I mean. Everyone that's lived in the UK has grown up with that kind of, um, they don't know any different either. But yeah. Didn't they have this already? Didn't he already say that when the time 
They do. They do, Toki. They do definitely have more character. So where do you eat dinner? I drew, oh, <gasps> what a pretty room. Oh, that's not too bad. This is a decent sized room. Why do I hear a clock? But I don't see a clock. Where's the clock? On the sofa. Sofa. Oh, you eat dinner on the sofa, right? In front of the TV, or is it like a lounge room? H two. Oh. Wait. <gasps> oh. Eh. I shouldn't really chat, say much about that because I, I, I probably eat in front of the t TV too and I don't need to. <laughs> Can I go this way? No. Yeah, yeah. We, we do the same thing. <laughs> oh, there he is over there. Let's go to Steven. Which reminds me, I should probably cook my dinner soon. And make sure the kids are having dinner. I'll do that when we finish the game, I think. Seventh Whistler. Hey, that's where they said they were going to go for a drink, right? Is there anybody here I can do it? Or are you just telling me to have a look inside? The whispers that they make when they like... Is this the bar? Do you know what I think the UK has that? Oh, wait, are we? You look well. I don't. Are we but back in the? You do. How are you, Sutton? We are. Around here. We've just gone around and, and round in circles. It still feels like home, right? I suppose. In a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Steve. I wish I had the history. Last time you saw me, I could still. And and all that. You that look good to me. um. Stop it. <laughs> that UK houses and buildings have. Australia's that. history of their houses is very, like, it's right. very minimal. I mean, Do you think you made a mistake leaving? there is My a history with, like, the right. indigenous, Funny. but because they Still did a lot of moving been around been and I'm not part of that, been wondering. I'm sure not an indigenous embarrassing. person. Sorry. It's kind of hard for me to I should go. Why? Steve, um, connect with that. We're both married. Makes sense. I don't think this is a good idea. What isn't? We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good sell up. I can't go out the front door. Pub quiz. Curry and pint. What's a pint? Is that like a big glass or a little glass? <laughs> pint is big, okay. Where is, where is Steven? Hello? Pint is big, a half pint is small. Yeah, I don't drink a lot of alcohol, so it wasn't quite sure. And I know they, we call it different here in Australia too. And then we call it different again in Queensland as compared to other, um, countries uh, other states like schooner which country which state is that schooner is is new south wales 
or something. Yeah, Queensland is strange. I'm not going to doubt that whatsoever. Queensland is strange. <laughs> I don't know if I go that far, but yeah, I'll give you that we are strange. I'm originally from New South Wales, so what does that mean? Does that mean I, uh... Where do I fall in that fa category? Um, let's see. <laughs> I just heard a train pull up. Where did he go? I'm gonna oh, oh look there's someone coming down here. They do though. You're overreacting, Steven. They stare at me. <laughs> Yesterday I went into the village and this old woman just stopped in the middle of the street and stared at me like I had two heads. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. <laughs> I'm like a walking freak show. Oh, this place. It's so insular. I just don't understand how you grew up here. Well, I was insular. very different then. What's insular? And they're not so bad, really. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> nah, not just really. Give it a chance, Kate. This was it's the okay. Deal. A year here, and we could be in with a real shot at Lucia. Stephen! Oh, Christ, it's Lantham. Stephen Appleton, I thought it was you. What's all this about a young wife? Oh. Um, hello. Two heads, Stephen. Hi, I'm Kate. Self-contained. Ah, oh, right. Oh, so Kate is American. Ah, that... See, that's how they could have described her instead of saying, like, you know, and, not, and it was because of her colour or race. See? They didn't need to say that, you know... They could have just said, oh, she's an American. And that would have been enough to know the difference between. Have they closed the tunnel? There's no trains. I've put up a sign. The tunnel, Howard, is it closed? I think so. I don't like it. It's not right at all. Stop whining. It doesn't help anyone. Did you know you're bleeding? Oh, it's this headache. It's just killing me. I haven't had a nosebleed like this since I was a kid. But you've not been to the village? No, I've been here the last couple of days or at home. We only spoke to Clive at the EMC on the phone. Well, tried to anyway, but we hey, I dread. But no direct contact with any other people. No, no one. What are you talking about? What's going on? It's a pattern. It's adapted again. It doesn't need no direct worries, contact to transfer. It's using the phones. What do you mean direct contact, Stephen? <laughs> now where are we going, Stephen? You know, you're right. Look, Stephen only has one, but Lizzie had two. I need to have like a hell hydrate sound effect. Let's check out in here and check out in here. in my eyes again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. Caught me, lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. Look, the cigarette's the still burning, that's page how. Page of zeros. It's frightened too. The thing is frightened? It'll be okay. I'll look after you. It's alone. It's scared. Oh, it's traveled so far. It's alien? It's okay. I can help you. We can be together now. Ten seconds. 
seconds to signal fusion. We can be together. Three seconds. Two. Well, such good emotes, man. Oh, he isn't getting enough water. <laughs> Bot needs to cheer more biddies, but the bot is broke because I am the bot. Oh look! Yeah. This was a mistake. What do you want me to say? You knew what you were getting into. Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me, did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen! Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You are... Engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh. her when it was just a dream. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're so overreacting. Just... Don't. Well, at the moment, I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me, Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. Stop being a cheating bastard, then, Stephen. <laughs> Maybe the laughing one. I hear another phone. Where did we go? Steven, where did you go? Do we go through here? This is back over here in the farm area. Where are we supposed to go? Stephen, where did you go? I don't think there's anywhere else you can go other than through that way. I hear him.
You know? Oops. Hello? I feel like we're, uh... Hello? Stephen, where did you go? There you go. <laughs> oh, thanks, Frank. Let's get it out of the way. I don't know what happened. It just died on me. Give it another go. It plays around with the cars as well. I only just put pets on it as well. Robert's taking the other car into town. I wish he'd get back. He promised me that he'd be back this morning. You think he's off on another bender? Oh, I can't police him all the time, Frank. He's not a child. What's Frank going on? seems to know everybody. You're seeing Stephen again, aren't you? You two can't keep pithering on like this. If Robert hasn't already worked it out, he soon will. Oh, not if he carries on drinking the way he is. Pardon my French, but bloody shit, why won't it start? Come on, I'll give you a lift. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. What's up here? Oh, we're back up here again. We don't want to be there because we want Steven. I think that was part of Frank's story that we missed. Is that Steven? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Where are we going, dude? trying to tell me dude I think we found him again but he's just hanging there where are we supposed to go Stephen show me show me where we're gonna go He's just running around. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Maybe the van. Well, I've already seen what was in the van. Here he comes. We went into there, and we went into there. Let's follow him again. Maybe we'll uh, 
end up back at the... Yeah, I know. You keep telling me that there's something... You hear that? Wait, Steven, come back! Don't leave me here! Shit. Steven! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Come back! Because I got lost last time. Around here again. I don't know where to go. Welcome back, Salo. Hello? Steven. <gasps> there he is! <gasps> there he is! Can we go in to check out the cave? At the cafe? <gasps> He's a radio. This is Catherine Collins. Recording for posterity. It's all over. I don't know how long I've got. Whatever he did, whatever the planes were carrying, it's burning my lungs. Probably some kind of nerve agent. I suspect it's only exposure to the pattern that has kept me alive this long. I'm making my way to Tower 6. I'm going to fuse the signals from the optical array. I just... It's a bird. I just hope I can make it. Hold on, Stephen. I just want to check what's in here. I want to check out Harley's Cafe. Oh, look, there's another phone ringing. Hello? Hello, is there anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Clive? Clive, it's Stephen Appleton. Are you there? Can you hear me? Over. Come on, Clive. Where are you? He sounds familiar. Damn it. Kate, Kate, it's Stephen. Come in, Tau Six. Kate, are you there? Kate. Anyone? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Dr. Stephen Appleton broadcasting from within the quarantine zone. Can anybody hear me? Oh, oh God, no. No. Fucking hell, no. Uh oh. Well, that does not sound very promising, does it? I'm coming, Steven. Just stay there and wait for me. I'm a little slow. Oh, that was Shiloh. I was like, what was that noise? It was Shiloh. <laughs> Now the door open! Hello? You're a daft old bird walking all the way out here for it. You know Charlie would have dropped it off. What? And have that stinking great lorry of his poisoning my birds? He shouldn't be driving it on these lanes. It's a hazard. I think he was hoping he would have a word with you about Frank. There's nothing to say. Listen, Wendy, they might all be scared of you, but that's not going to work with me. You're 68 years old. Grow up. Talk to Frank. How dare you speak to me like that? Give me my bird finger right now. Promise He's me. Wendy Talk Frank's sister. Not a chance. Promise me. It's for your own good, and you know it. You are a shamelessly manipulative and difficult woman. It's no wonder Charlie adores you so much. No wonder I do what? No wonder you never finish what you start. I thought I told you to check the incoming stock orders. Wendy, one bird feeder for you. I'll tell Frank you'll stop by. Oh! Charlie, stop mooning around and stick the kettle on. Make yourself useful. Ooh, okay. So we worked out that Wendy is a Frank's sister that he hasn't spoken to in so long.
Hello? <gasps> Appleton! Didn't you? You thieving bastard! I knew it was you! Listen, take everything you need. But then you have to leave. You don't understand. You can't be near me. Painting these stupid little pictures. Stealing food. You always were a little prick. Please, every second we're in proximity makes it worse. I'm a primary conduit. You're a fucking disgrace. Come here. Yeah, don't touch me. Get off. What's off. going on? Come in here. Lord. Jesus, Get out over Sam. Us. Thinking you're so much better Sam, than the rest of us. No physical you contact. You stupid fucking missus. Get out of any of you. <laughs> oh. I just noticed the blood there. Sam? Meg, please. Don't come near me. Meg! Charlie! Meg, Meg, wait! Don't touch me! Meg, please, you have to understand, it was an accident. Let go, let's just go. Wait, 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 wait! You have to understand, it was an accident. Just leave him, leave him! What have you done, Appleton, you bastard? Come on, Charlie, let's Meg, just get Charlie, out of here! Meg, Charlie, please! Sam, that was, uh... Rachel's dad, yeah? Did he hit him with a hammer? I hardly think that's an accident. Right, let's go find him again. Where are you, Stephen? Stephen. Guess I'll keep following the road. Hello. Hey, look, that light's on. Hello? Station Master's house, Howard Lantham speaking. Howard, it's Clive, Clive Smith. I need you to listen to me and not ask Sam attacked him first. With the hammer? But why are you calling? But do you really need a hammer to, to knock someone out? We've got an influenza outbreak in the village. We're suspending rail services, and we're also going to be shutting down the roads for a bit. Uh, you're going to be dealing with some anxious people, Howard, so you need to explain. It's all under control, and we'll be back to normal in a few days. They're all very oh, similar oh, houses, oh, hey? Emergency store. There's posters and boards, along with a bunch of stuff that hasn't been used since the war. Grab anything you think might be useful. I need you to close up any unoccupied buildings, put posters up, that sort of thing. Make sure everything is all squared away in ship shape. Oh, okay, all right. I understand that. Everyone doing their bit, following their orders. All right? All right? I think. Good man. I knew we could count on you. Ah, Jesus, please. What the hell was that? Ooh. That was when he got infected. Oh, this is a nicer bathroom than the other one. Oh, my God. Oh, dear Lord. Look at all that blood. Oh look, even the digital one has is left in that. Mm. Whoop, almost didn't know what I was doing. Oh, you're so slow downstairs, dude. Come on. Okay. So Howard was a station master. I think this story is going to be something I'm going to be pondering around in my brain for a very long time after, which is good. I like finding games like that. But there's just so much, not so much going on, but just like. <sighs> Repeating over and over to myself in the dark, eating cold food from a can with my fingers. 
My name is Catherine Collins. I am Catherine Collins. As if I can force the world to acknowledge my existence. Time has ceased to exist in any real terms. I'm reduced to marking up the days and the walls. You know, I'm gonna get back into Dark Souls. Here comes Steven back. Hey, Steven. We're going this way. This is the um, no. Are we going this way? There's no other way we can go. We just came from that way, so we have to go this way. True. It is an experience, isn't it? It's like yeah, I agree. listen to this uh, maybe you've decided to stay with Kate and I, I can't blame you for that but I can't wait for you either I've got to think about the baby <gasps> um, well I should have left a long time ago who said that who said in the man. chat that she was pregnant but I do love you baby. and I hope you find peace one way or another Are they bombing? Being bombed. The place does not look like it is being bombed. So Liz, Liz here, uh, died then. You hear that? Possibly, like an electrical discharge. True, because it is electrical, right? I'm gonna keep going this way, I guess. Oh, look at the electrical through the, uh, the lines. Oh. Now where do I go? Should I follow that?
It would, wouldn't it? You would have no idea. Ooh, what's this? Hello? Where are we? I've not played Sun. Sun. Sai. Kano. Kano. Sai Kano? I've not played. Hi. Hey, dude. When I was a kid, my dad found a fox. It had been hit by a car and couldn't walk anymore. My mum went spare, of course. Made him keep it in the shed. He was already slipping away from us then. He spent hours with that fox. Telling it all about Italy and the villages they bombed. Oh, there. okay. I was I was jealous, I think. But the fox got more of my dad than I did. But it was dying, that was clear. So one day, I snuck out, took it a sandwich, and food. I was only eight. When it bit me, I remember the anger, the shock, the hurt. Running in, screaming from the garden, my mum panicking about rabies. <coughs> I would not get another one of those green ones. They're not that nice. Son, that's what he said. I don't know Ken was hurting you. That's just a poor, dumb, dying animal. I don't know Ken. Son. It doesn't know it's hurting us. Christ help us, it's left the valley. It's everywhere now. It's been three hours since the planes went over. I haven't been able to reach anyone on the short wave. I'm beginning to think I may have made a terrible miscalculation. <coughs> oh. Hello. from me you've made me do things i never even thought i was capable of but if you think i'm coming with you 